we played a great fourth quarter. Uh, our intensity level went way, way, way up. Um, I didn't think we put much into the game on the defensive end of the floor until then. Um, either in terms of intensity or in terms of discipline to what we were supposed to be doing. Um, I'll take some of the blame for that, which I did in there, is I think we had them thinking too much on Toronto's pick and rolls. We tried to scheme a little bit too much, change what we were doing, and we were tentative and slow. In the fourth quarter, we just went back to doing what we did, and we were much more aggressive. So I'll take some of the responsibility on that part of our game, but the discipline wasn't there early either. I mean, we were up on every Bargnani shot fake. Uh, we didn't play their cuts correctly. We just weren't in, in it on the uh, defensive end of the floor. But in the fourth quarter, we really, really got after it defensively, I thought, and played really well. And then obviously made some good plays and some big shots. So, Isn't this what you're going to do the five games and eight nights that you have to gut some games out like this? Um, yeah, you know, I think so. Schedule. Yeah, I think so. And you know, now the challenge is, um, you know, for, for a guy like Dwight, played 43 minutes tonight, and I'll come back tomorrow night and do it again. He'll at 34 minutes, JJ at 34 minutes. You know, so those guys are going to have to come back and, and play really, really well. So, um, you know, not going to be easy. Um, and yeah, we fouled too much, and they made free throws. I mean, they were terrific at the line. You know, so to get out scored 11 at the line, even though they only shoot five more, um, you know, it's tough. But, uh, but we hung in there, which was good, you know, and we've shown a little bit of that already this year, um, you know, to be able to come back. So I think that's a, that's a positive. Did you like having the ball in Turk and, and JJ's hands in the fourth quarter? What is, what is it about the way they're playing in the fourth quarter? Well, I mean, you know, look, I, I think that they're, you know, they've both been making shots and, and Turk's been, uh, Turk's been making pretty good plays. So, um, yeah, we, we've gone that way. Stan, it seemed like Ryan had some trouble with Bargnani, especially early on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was, it, was you taking Ryan out of the game in third, third uh, a product of that? Uh, what was, what was uh, well, you know, he got his he got his third foul, and, and you know, I yeah, I just wanted a, a little bit more uh, into the game defensively, and, and I thought Glenn did a very good job. He got in and really fought him there for a while, and sort of took him out, and then we got Ryan back in, uh, you know, to spread the floor out offensively. And I thought Ryan played him better down the stretch, other than he got stretched out on the one pick and roll, and. Um, gave up a three, which we didn't want to give up. But other than that, I think he did a better job. He stayed down on his shot fakes. I mean, that's just something those guys have got to go into games and really focus on. I think, you know, um, in Ryan's case, he still really very much looks at the game from an offensive standpoint. He judges his play from an offensive standpoint. And he's been playing great, but he's got to put more into the game in terms of his focus um, defensively. Look, I, I, I've said this all the time. When you play the great players, and Bargnani's a great offensive player, you're not going to shut them down. And we had made the point in the walkthrough, you're not going to get up and block his shot. He's seven foot one. He shoots the ball from up high. You know, just stay down on his shot fake. You're not getting to that. You know, I think when you play the great players, you've got to make sure they don't get easy stuff. Don't send them to the free throw line unnecessarily. Don't get up on shot fake. <coughs> Don't give them cuts for layups, things like that. Don't give them wide open shots. And then you live with the ones they hit over the top of you, whether it's LeBron James or Kobe Bryant or Dwayne Wade or Andrea Bargnani or whoever. You live with those. But, and I, I think our players would say this. We made far too many mistakes tonight where we weren't disciplined and we gave them easy baskets. And we have to be better than that. And I think we showed we could do it. Um, you know, going down the stretch, and so we've just got to do it and do it better. Stan, with some of the play uh, product of fatigue of what you guys are going through there? Well, I, mean, I don't know about that. I, I think, look, I mean, I know what we're going through, but, but we had yesterday off. We didn't come in until 3 o'clock today before the game. We didn't get them up in the morning like we normally would. Um, so, you know, they were off for 42 hours. <coughs> And, and I'll say this, okay, fatigue, well, 
then wouldn't you be more tired going into the fourth quarter? And you can summon it. That's the thing. I mean, that's why I've seen that so many times in sports that you have to believe a lot of it on games like tonight had to be more mental than physical. Because if it's physical, how are you more tired in the first, second, and third quarters than you are in the fourth quarter after you've played the minutes? You know, the bottom line is your mind engages and your energy comes from your sense of urgency and wanting to get the job done and wanting to win. You have the mental toughness that you can find the energy. And, and so there's really no reason to say you couldn't have found it at the start of the game. But, you know, I don't want that to come off as negative because we did a great job staying with the game. And the bottom line is it's a 48-minute game, and over 48 minutes we got the job done. So I'm happy as hell with that. Um, but, but hopefully we can learn from that. Yeah, has J.J. played at this high of a level over an extended period of time? I know he's one of your rotation guys, but it seems like he's kind of taking it to another level. He's playing great right now. But, I mean, J.J.'s been a good player, and, and he's had – Great games and very big games and playoff games and everything else. I mean, he's definitely somebody you can uh, you can count on. Um, so I'm not surprised by it. But yeah, he's he's played great over these first five games here. Hey, uh, coach, down 16 in the second half. What is the message that you're sending your players? Um, I mean, I know coming from high school and college and the NBA, it's usually you can't score all 16 at once. You want to try and chip away. And the way that they weren't playing great defense, what was your message? Well, that, that was it. It was the defensive end of the floor. I mean, look, you, you're not you're not going to come close to trading baskets and get back in the game, you know. So you obviously you have to make plays at both ends. You've got no margin for error, but your defense has got to be great. And and ours was going down the stretch, you know. I mean, to to be down 11 going into the fourth and and get that done. I mean, we played a great defensive fourth quarter with a tremendous sense of urgency and. You know, we're able to get the job done.